All right. Okay. Shirai was late, people. That's why we're late. We're running late. He, 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 he was in court. He came from Jersey. Now he's here. Let's start it. And this is Chamber Fusic. Say hello. hello. We're coming to you live from the Upper East Side, and we're on episode 11. Um, welcome to my house. Oh my goodness. This is going to be good. Wait. Is that guitar I hear? It's Sharon, who was late. He joined us. Sharon, how you doing? It's okay. You're here. <laughs> You're here now. <laughs> so we're going to start this off with a little song by Clean Bandits called Rockabye. So far away from her father's daughter, she wants a life for a baby. All on her own, no one will come. She's got to save him. She tells him, Ooh, love, no one's gonna ever hurt you, love. I'm gonna give you all of my love. Nobody matters like you. Yes, Rod. Good going for just showing up late and sitting in, you know. He was not here for rehearsal. Trust me. And we had John James sitting in on background vocals today. The lovely John James. And right now, we have Lillian as our special guest. Lillian. Yes. I heard you have a crazy story to tell your friend. 
Evelyn said you've been going through some changes lately. I have been some going through changes. <laughs> really? Yes. What's going on? Oh, um, well, uh, I got diagnosed with a, um, a health condition. It's called endometriosis, oh. stage four. Wow. Right? So um, I'm married. I've been married for five years. And my husband and I have been trying to have children. Unfortunately, oh. stage four endometriosis makes it very hard to uh, have your own children. Wow. You have to go through IVF, and even then your chances of having your own children are very slim. So I've actually undergone treatments for over a year. Lots of injections, lots of hormones, and changes. Wow. It's been hard. It's uh, put a strain on the rest of my life, including my marriage, so. Oh. I'm not the happiest girl these days. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> So are there any things, is, is there anything making it better yet, or is it just something that's... A uh, day at a time. I write a lot, you know, in my journal, some poems, whatever. I lean on friends. Uh, I try and do the things that make me happy, you know, throw myself into my work and whatnot. I'm trying to pay attention, but this microphone has a life on its own right oh. now. So, <laughs> okay. So, okay, excuse me. So, um, yeah. So you journal to? Uh, I journal to process my feelings. Um, I like movies. I love music. Yeah, and you know, that, that's music. what this show is about, uplifting people with music. Yeah. But you know what? Um, I, I usually make fun of people when they're <laughs> sitting on this chair, and I, your story is really, um, you know, it's very complex, and I don't want to trivialize it. So basically, to us, to even talk about something so serious, you're like a hero, you know? <laughs> Thank you. So. Thank you. Right, Chamber of Music, look at them. She is really inspiring people. Right, Eric? She deserves the best in life. My Emmy, Liz. No, no, she can't have my Emmy, but you know what? You can't have my Emmy, but we have something that's probably even better than that. Chocolate? I don't know. <laughs> chocolate? No, it's not chocolate. <laughs> Unless you put chocolate in a human being. And this person is definitely edible. Once you see him, you're going to be so happy. So you're not going to want that chocolate anymore. Okay? I'm, so, I'm glad I broke the curse of crying with violins. You guys almost made me cry, and I don't want to do that. So, so, yeah, so right now we have somebody we know you love. He's an artist from Trinidad, and he just came off the boat this afternoon. <laughs> I mean, so he might be a little sweaty, but I know you love him. So let's bring on out Will Getton. on Spotify, right? Yeah. Huh? Uh, How many plays has it got? Well, No Filter has um, about like 180,000. Oh, wow. Um, the EP itself actually is five tracks, and I think probably the next week you'll have a million streams on Spotify. Awesome. And that's without being on the label or anything, so. I listen to No Filter like three times a day, so that's those hundred and eighty thousand hits might be mostly me. <laughs> okay, let's hit it. Girl 
Yeah, and this is also to we, what we were talking about earlier about how R&B used to be inspiring too. The lyrics were inspiring. They could move people, they could motivate people, they could uh, uplift people. And the scene of R&B is changing as we've talked about. And especially for black artists, uh, black male artists, I've noticed that yeah. you don't see a lot of uh, positive imagery anymore. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Love songs, uh, you know. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Songs about unity and it's just kind of, I think, her reaction is definitely an example of that, mm -hmm. of what we need more of. And it's not just the sound, it's also the lyrics and the voice, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's beautiful. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking about my husband, I was thinking about him. So well, you know what? Oh, I don't know. Hey, oh. maybe, maybe you can marry me and Lillian. <laughs> you have only five seconds to answer that. Because <laughs> I'm not really into polygamy, but you know. I'm kind of ha happy I have my condition now, if that's how I got to meet <laughs> You got to be here, right? <laughs> yes. you know, I'm, I'm trying to move into this other segment we do because, you know, a lot of artists like Will need support financially because it takes a lot to put these projects together. I mean, it's enough to hear, to listen to people on Spotify and on YouTube and stuff, but you got to download their music because they need to, you know, 
have the funds not to only to live, but also to make more music, make more music and make uplift more, more people. Right, not now, just hearing about tits and ass all exactly. the time. Exactly. Right. So that leads <laughs> me to my next segment. <laughs> <laughs> and I want everybody who's not working on the show to pull out their iPhones. Everybody, everybody, like you know. Here, he's already ready, he's been here before. Pull out your iPhones, I want everybody to pull out their phones or whatever they do to download music because we're gonna do a little segment I call my little 30 second download rant. And I'm gonna give you the opportunity to download Will Gittin's music on iTunes. Do you have it anywhere else? Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, it's Pandora. everywhere, but the only if you have iTunes. not Pandora, I don't know why, but. But Spotify. anywhere, buy it. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, Chamber Music? Yeah. Here we go. Three. Y'all always talking about how bad music is. But you just heard Will. So if you would just buy something, you'd see more artists like that. So just push the button. Push the little bad button. Push it. Push it. Push the push button. This is some Brock's egg ruptions, sour juicy filled, giant jelly beans. They were $3.49. His is only 99 cents. So you can push the button. Push it. Push it. Oh. You can save it for our reception. Thank you. When, we, when all of us get married. <laughs> By will, of course. With he'll will. Be, he'll be we'll get married to Will. President. All right, <laughs> oh. Stefano, you can go into commercial. <laughs> Chevrolet's a good car. If you like brothers, then welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. Herbal essence. Herbal essence. Herbal essence! Okay, we're back. We're, the last song we're going to do is a song called Thug. Um, is there a story behind this? Quick little story. My best friend, um, he was dating this girl. And he told me that they went to Applebee's. And he bought her meal, and then she kind of sat him down and was like, hey, I don't think this is working out. Um, I, you're a good guy. You go to church. You do this. But I'm into thugs. And when he told me that, I laughed because I thought it was funny that she said that. And literally, that is why I wrote the song Thug. I feel like there's a lot of beautiful women that deserve to be treated um, um, more special by, by who they're with, you know. And sometimes they don't know how to be treated, whether it's because they didn't have a father or maybe they... They just, you know what I'm saying, don't have enough self-respect or self-worth, so this is Doug. Well, when you go back to Atlanta, can you write a song for me called um, Sociopath? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what we have. That's what we have. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe alcoholic or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, my, my stand isn't working, so I'm going to have to play with one hand, so... New technique by Catrice on air. Go ahead. So, go, ahead. No, go, on. go on, man. I'm ready. Yeah. Hey. That you're pulling away from me And it's crazy To think that you don't even care About the things I do for you But how can I expect you to know You never had a father to show Show you what love is So you search for it in all the wrong places Cause girl you were queen Everybody knows it but you But you Don't ever buy her a ring Cause she ain't looking for 
learned how you should be treated Cause girl you a queen Everybody knows it but you But you And I don't wanna waste my time girl Till you get a clue She don't really wanna be that She just wanna fly She just wanna fly Change it, I would, I would, yeah. Keep the music alive. One living room. 